Hello guys and welcome to my torn apart bathroom. Today, we begin putting it back together. Finally. So come join us, won't you? So man, it's been so long since I tore this apart. I don't remember the last time we worked in here. But it needs to start going back together, even if it's a slow process. Today I'm gonna work on the floor here. Uh, get the floor put in, get the drain put in, and get the curb kind of built up. At least that's the goal for today, getting that much done. We'll see what happens from there. So all my supplies are over here by Noelle. She's checking them all out. Uh, what I do need to do is put a little table up here so I can put my chop saw on it so I can cut down the wood I need to do the uh, curb and the floor. That's step number one. So let me go grab all that stuff real quick. So yeah, all set up now. Just got a regular folding table, put my chop saw on it, uh, gave it a couple uh, practice runs, make sure it all works since it's been forever since I used it. Uh, everything works good. It's the perfect setup for what I need, which isn't much. I'm really just gonna cut some plywood down and cut a couple two by fours uh, and do the size I need. So yeah, this will work perfect. Now I need to go clean up the bathroom just a little bit and take some measurements and get going on this. Yeah, so what the game plan is, is first I'm going to uh, cut some plywood to cover up the existing uh, floor. Uh, that just gives me a nice smooth surface. I don't have to worry about, you know, doing much there, although I'll probably fill that in before I put the plywood down. My drain will fit on it. Uh, I'll be able to put the uh, membrane down. It'll be nice and even and everything. So 36 inches by 36 inches is all I need. Uh, I should be able to do that with one board. So we're going to find out. Now why I said I should be able to do this with one board is because my board is only two foot by four foot. I did the math. I believe I'm correct. I should be able to get both pieces out of this to do the 36 by 36 shower. Assuming my math is correct. Let's hope it is. Now I'm just going to chop that corner off and it should lay right in place. Hopefully. Yeah, it should. Okay, first piece. I uh, had one minor cut to make and that was on this side. I just took a about one degree cut over here. It's because my house isn't built perfectly square. But now it fits fine. This will go here. Perfect. And whatever I cut off here will fit here. Perfect. Like, yeah, this really actually worked out quite well. I'm impressed. Da, 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 da. Wow, yeah, that went great. In fact, this corner piece right here, I didn't even have to cut. Everything worked out perfect, just as I planned. If you want to see how good I utilize this board, here's the waste. That's it, that's all of the board I'm not using, which is awesome. Uh, this I may actually keep, because uh, you can never know when you could use something like this. These two, I will burn. Ah, heck, I'll burn it all. Now before I start bur words, before I start building my curb, uh, I want to go open the shower enclosure and kind of get the track out and lay it out on here just to make sure it's going to fit 100%. I don't want to build all this and then it not work. Uh, so yeah, let me go do that real quick. It also helps if you open the box upside down so you can't actually get to any of the parts you want without moving the glass panels first. Uh, oops. Fail on my part. Okay, I got everything out and I laid it out on the floor and I'm glad I did. Here's why. Let me move this section over here. This rail was sitting right along this edge. So this shower is slightly bigger than the old one. Uh, that's good to know now because if I would have cut the 2x4s to stop here, they would have been wrong. I need to come all the way out here. Which just brings another problem. Is this still has a lip. So I have to bring the boards up a little bit. That won't be hard. I could do that with the two by fours and I could uh, shim it later. But yeah, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I thought this through and didn't just start cutting wood because that would have been bad. Well, a bunch of math later and a couple cuts. I think this is it. I think this is the layout. Now I'm going to do this two more times, build this three high. I'm going to stagger the joints and I'll show you how I do uh, the stagger here once I get all three done. But yeah, okay. I'm feeling good about this so far. Well, what do you think guys? 
Does it look like a shower curb? I think it does. Uh, also, uh, this is how I staggered the corners. Uh, this is a 22 and a half degree angle, just straight. This uh, was a 45 angle with a 45 angle cut off. And this was a 45 angle and a 45 angle here to make that block. So that way I could drill down to here, catch this one up from here, catch this one, and uh, it'll be a nice tight corner once it's all drilled and screwed together. Yeah, I like it. There is one more thing I need to do before I could start putting this all together, and that is put the drain in the center here. Uh, but before I do that, I think I'm going to go grab dinner because I'm getting hungry. This actually took a lot longer than I thought. So we might do the drain another day, although I really would like to get the drain done today. So we'll see what happens. Well, I decided to go ahead and put the drain hole in before I made dinner, just because that way it's all done and said. I think this is where I'm ending for the evening. I can come back, drill this all out, screw it together, make it nice and sturdy, lay it down, put the plumbing in for the drain, and get ready to lay the uh, membrane over this. I do need to do some other stuff before I can do that. I need to redo the shower itself. Get the new fixtures on. I need to put some wood around the boards. I need to move some of these other weird studs that whoever did the shower before me put in. But yeah, in general, I think we made a lot of progress today. I like it. I thought we did a great job. Or at least I thought I did a great job. Uh, kind of proud of myself. Took my time. Took longer than I wanted it to, but I took my time and made sure everything was right. Uh, making sure it's right the first time will save us a whole lot of time later. But yeah, I'm going to go make some dinner now, and then uh, I will talk to you afterwards. Since I am bacheloring it up today, as Kristen's working till 9, and then after work she's going to the movies with a bunch of people from work, I decided to make my specialty, my famous butter noodles. Simple as it could get. Noodles with melted butter, put some seasoning salt in there, and some bacon, uh, bacon bits. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh... I've done a couple videos on how I make this, and I did like went into elaborate detail on how to make butter noodles. It was kind of video, funny video. If I can find it, I'll link it uh, in either the description down below or up in the corner. But yeah, I'm having some butter noodles. I'm watching some uh, TV, chilling the rest of the night, and relaxing, and uh, waiting for. I don't know. I probably won't wait till Kristen gets home. Here's the thing. Kristen's probably going to the movie. She gets off at 9. The movie probably won't start till 10. She probably won't be home till like 1 or 2. Yeah, I'm not waiting for her. I gotta get up at 5 in the morning. So I'm gonna eat dinner, and then I'll talk to you afterwards. Well, guys, dinner was amazing. And of course it was, because I made it. And butter noodles, kind of hard to screw that up. Very simple dinner. Uh, worked out perfect. Uh, only because I did so much this evening after I got home from work. Uh, I didn't get everything done I wanted to get done, but typically I never do. I always over plan for uh, when I'm doing stuff. Uh, working in the yard, uh, working inside, decorating things like that. I always over plan and I always get disappointed when I don't finish everything. I'm just kind of getting used to it. So hopefully I won't get disappointed as often in the future. Yeah, love, love the progress I made in the bathroom. I think it's looking great. Uh, we're going to keep working on it unless it's super sunny out and then we will go outside and do stuff there. Tomorrow uh, we are headed back to Cedar Point. A lot of you guys love our Cedar Point vlogs. Uh, we're going to do uh, another uh, Halloween weekend's night on a Friday this time. But until then, uh, I will talk to you guys last time because I'm just rambling on. Bye, guys.